Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In today's video, we're diving into the basics of Unreal Engine 5 and how to get started with C++. By the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of Unreal Engine C++ API and how to set up your first C++ project. So let's get started. So make sure you have Unreal Engine 5 installed. You can get it from the Epic Games launcher. Also ensure you have Visual Studio installed with the necessary components for Unreal Engine development. So if you have your Visual Studio installer, you can hit modify and you'll scroll down to where it says game development with C++ and it does say it's used with Unreal. And just make sure this is checked and you can also install it here. And to download Unreal Engine, you can just go to unrealengine.com and click get Unreal and then download the launcher. And then when you're in your launcher, you can hit the Unreal Engine tab and go to library and add an engine version. And for the purpose of this video, we'll be using 5.4 because that's the latest one, 5.4.1. So now let's open up Unreal Engine by clicking Launch. And now I'll click Games. I'll choose a blank template. And under Project Default, you're going to make sure that C++ is checked. And I'll make sure there's no starter content. I just want it to be very blank. And I'm going to call this project Intro to C++. And now I'll hit Create to open the project. And don't forget, you can choose a save location, which is also the project location. And I'll just leave this as a default going into my Unreal Projects folder. And now that we have our project open, let's look at the structure. You'll notice a few folders on the left, such as content. In Unreal Engine, open Visual Studios for me. As you can see, it says intro to CPP, which is the project name. And if that did not happen for you, you can just go over where the project location is and double click this .sln file, which will open your Visual Studio solution. So on the right here, you'll see a bunch of our C++ classes under source. Let's go back into Unreal Engine. So what you're going to do here is go to go to Tools, New C++ Class, and we're going to choose an actor. And then I'll click Next, and I'll call this My First Actor. And now let's create the class and look at the generated files. So you'll see that up here it'll say MyFirstActor.cpp and MyFirstActor.h. The .h file is our header file where we declare our class and its properties. And the CPP file is our source file where we define the functionality. So in my first actor.h, we see the declaration Unreal uses, like the U class over here, to handle various engine specific tasks. We also have the constructor and the begin play and tick functions, such as here and here. So let's add a simple log message in begin play to see our actor in action. So switch to the my first actor.cpp file and find the begin play function, which is over here. And we'll add a log using UE log to print to the console when the game starts. So under super begin play, I'll do UE underscore log. And then in parentheses, I'll do a log temp warning text. Hello, Unreal Engine 5. And then don't forget to add your semicolon at the end. And now we're going to compile our project. So I'll hit save. And then in Visual Studio, you're going to go to Build, Build Solution, or press Control-Shift-B to compile. And once it's done, we'll head back to Unreal Engine. So as you can see, I am getting some errors, which are not supposed to happen. So what I'm going to do for this is just go to Build, and I'm going to clean the solution. And now it's done cleaning, and then I'll hit Build again and rebuild the solution. And now what I'll do is go over to where my project file is, right click on this Unreal Engine or U asset file, Unreal Project, show more options, and I'm going to generate Visual Studio files. And now it's going to generate the project files. And it'll say some modules are missing or built with a different engine. And I'll just go ahead and rebuild them now by clicking yes. And now I'll click build solution. And it'll say build completed. So in this case, it did fix my issue. And I'll go ahead and go back to my Unreal project. And now what I'm going to do is you'll see the C++ classes folder pop up on the left. I'll click into it. I'll click into it and drag my first actor out into the open. And now when I hit play, you click on this output log and you'll see it say Warning, hello, Unreal Engine 5, in the log temp that we created. 
And when we go back to our Visual Studios file, and when we go back to our Visual Studios file, that's exactly what we put here. We made a log temp, warning text saying, hello, Unreal Engine 5. And there it is. Our log message is printed, indicating that our actor is successfully created and running. And that's it for our introduction to Unreal Engine's 5 C++ API. I hope this video helped you get started with C++ and Unreal Engine 5, as well as fixing any issues you might have encountered on the process of running and building. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to get notified on new tutorials. Also join our Discord server and Patreon for more exclusive content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.